Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Chinese ebook before it's gone. Hi everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer most of your common Chinese questions. The question for this lesson is, what are the different tones in Chinese? Many Chinese learners find the tones quite difficult because the intonation in Chinese is very special and very different from most other languages. There are four stress tones in Chinese. Let's run through them now. First tone, yi sheng is high and steady. Ah. Uh, second tone, er sheng, starts with a little lower pitch and goes up. Ah. Uh, third tone, san sheng, is even lower. It first dips down, then rises. Ah. Uh, fourth tone, si sheng, starts high, then falls sharply. Ah. Uh, in addition to the above four tones, there's a special tone called neutral tone, qing sheng. It doesn't come with any marks on top. To make the neutral tone, try to say it as in the first tone, except that you say it in a more light and short way, like ah. It's not only important, but crucial to master different tones in Chinese. There are so many words that come with the same pin in spelling. If you don't get the tones right, it's very likely that your mispronounced tones will lead to misunderstandings or even embarrassment. A quick example, the pinyin and tone for Han Yu is with the fourth falling tone on Han, Han Yu. The pinyin and tone for Han Yu has a second rising tone on Han, Han Yu. They sound quite close, right? But Han Yu is Chinese language and Han Yu is actually Korean language. Don't get them mixed up and be very careful with the tones. How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. See you in the next episode. Bye. Welcome to Chinese Top Words. My name is Ray. Today we are going to cover 20 travel phrases you should know. Let's get started. 我可以要一张地图吗? Could I get a map? 我可以要一张地图吗? Could I get a map? Map, map. If you use your hand gesture enough, I think Chinese will know what you want. Yeah. 你会讲英语吗? Do you speak English? 你会讲英语吗? Do you speak English? So when you see m at the end of a sentence, Chinese sentence, you will know this is a sentence for asking a question. 什么什么 What, what, m? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? So in China, since we have a, a big population, especially in the airport or in a train station, sometimes we need to line up for the taxi. So it may be a very useful sentence when you get to the China for the first time. Wi-Fi is free? Is the Wi-Fi free? Is the Wi-Fi free? Another common question is, what is the Wi-Fi password? Wi-Fi 的密码是什么? 今晚有房间吗? Do you have any vacancies tonight? 今晚有房间吗? Do you have any vacancies tonight? So different from English, we put the time in front of a sentence instead of at the end of the sentence. So 今晚 means tonight. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗? Could I move to a different room? 我可以换一个其他的房间吗? Could I move to a different room? So when you're not satisfied with the room, maybe it's filled with smoke, smell, you can use this sentence. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗? 无烟房, 无烟房 means non-smoking room. 
，我有预定。I have a reservation. 我有预定。I have a reservation. You can use it in a restaurant or in a hotel. 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 ？Could we have the menu, please? 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 ？Could we have the menu, please? 菜 means dishes. 单 means list. So a list of dishes it means menu in English. 你有什么推荐吗 ？Do you have any recommendations? 你有什么推荐吗 ？Do you have any recommendations? So speaking of Chinese dishes, my favorite one is tomato fried eggs, 西红柿炒鸡蛋 I strongly recommend it. Please try it. 可以给我结账吗 Could I have the check? 可以给我结账吗 Could I have the check? So in China, when you go to a restaurant, go have a dinner with your, especially your close friends or your family, um, one special, one Chinese specific situation might happen. Like everybody will fight for check. Could I have the check? 我可以结账吗 It's not so often heard, but instead it's like, I want the check. 我要结账 Yeah, in China, people like paying for their close friends and family. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. Among my friends and my family. I've never heard anybody is allergic to anything.、Mm, I guess we were born strong. 请给我一杯水 ，water please. 请给我一杯水 ，water please. I would recommend you to say, 请给我一杯冰水 because in China many people like hot water. Me too. I like hot water. So if you do not add 冰冰 means ice. So 冰水 means Ice water. So if you don't add that, you probably get a hot water. This is 多少钱 How much is this? This is 多少钱 How much is this? So if you go shopping in China, if it's not department store, usually the price is not written on the product. So the merchant may offer different prices depending on the people. You have to always ask and always negotiate. Otherwise, you will get overcharged. But also enjoy the fun of negotiating the price. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. If you feel this sentence too long for you, you can say 这个我要十个 or you can say 十个 This is Chinese way of showing ten. 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? So, like what I have said before, in China, negotiating price is very common, except the department store. So this could be very useful. 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? In China, personally, I don't use credit card so often. I usually use my cash or Like an account in my phone, so I just show my phone is like Apple Pay. It's very easy and convenient. 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? So we put where at the end of the sentence in Chinese. So be careful, reverse the order. 请问车费是多少 Excuse me, what's the fare? 请问车费是多少 Excuse me, what's the fare? Usually, you use this sentence when you take a taxi. So when you get to the destination, you can ask the taxi driver. 请问车费是多少能不能帮我拍张照 Could you take a picture of me, please? 能不能帮我拍张照 Could you take a picture of me, please? Instead of asking this favor in a question, you can also say. 请帮我拍张照 Please take a picture for me. 这是去机场的巴士吗 Is this the right bus for the airport? 这是去机场的巴士吗 Is this the right bus for the airport? Thank you for watching Chinese top words today. I'm happy to share with you the useful words when you travel in China. 
Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out our Chinese class 101.com. I'll be there waiting for you. Bye. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Hey, who dial dialama? Zai Fei Bali. Fei Ji Piao na? Fei Ji Piao, Zai Water. Tian na? Ni me yo ma? Oh, Zai Water. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Hu Zhao Passport Hu Zhao Hu Zhao Qian Zheng Visa Qian Zheng Qian Zheng Bei Bao Knapsack Bei Bao Bay Suitcase Lu Xing Xiang Lu Xing Xiang Lu Xing Trip Lu Xing Lu Xing Do Pocket Do Do Fei Piao Flight Ticket Fei Piao Fei Piao Tian Money Tian Tian Xin Yung Ka Credit Card Xin Yung Ka Xin Yung Ka Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. A. Hu Zhao Dai Lama. Zai Fei Bao Li. Fei Ji Piao Na. Fei Ji Piao, Zai Wu Zhe. Qian Na. Ni Mei Yu Ma. Oh, Zai Wu Dou Li. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. This is 差不多 
。等等，你知不知道这是什么肉？呃，我给你加点菠菜。这不是生菜吗？哦，蔬菜拼盘，蔬菜拼盘。Now you'll hear the key vocabulary followed by the English translation. 拼盘 combination platter, 特 particularly, 羊肉 lamb. 火锅 Hot pot. 菠菜 Spinach. 牛肉 Beef. 蒙古 Mongolia. 生菜 Lettuce. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. This restaurant is really good. Mongols are very fond of beef. Hmm, beef? We don't eat beef. Is it beef? Is it beef? 呃，差不多。等等，你知不知道这是什么肉？呃，我给你加点菠菜。这不是生菜吗？哦，蔬菜拼盘，蔬菜拼盘。This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Do you feel like you don't speak enough Chinese? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi, everyone. I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn how to ask where something is located. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for directions. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. 超市在哪儿？在那。Once more with the English translation. 超市在哪儿？ Where is the supermarket? 在那 It's over there. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say "Where is place?" The pattern is "Place." 在哪儿 This Chinese sentence literally translates as "Place at where," but it means "Where is place?" For example, "Where is the supermarket?" 超市在哪儿超市在哪儿 Now, how do you answer this question? 在那 Listen to it again. 在那在那 This Chinese sentence literally translates as "at there," but it means it's over there. Here are a few more places you can use with the same pattern. Supermarket. 超市。超市。Supermarket. 超市。Bank. 银行。银行
bank. 银行 Bathroom. 卫生间卫生间 Bathroom. 卫生间 Mall. 商场商场 Mall. 商场 Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. 银行在哪儿？在那。Where is the bank? 银行在哪儿 ？It's over there. 在那。卫生间在哪儿？在那。Where is the bathroom? 卫生间在哪儿？ It's over there. 在那。商场在哪儿？在那。Where is the mall? 商场在哪儿 ？It's over there. 在那。Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say "Where is place"? Place. 在哪儿 And how do you answer it? <phone rings> 在那 Imagine you're looking for the bank. Do you remember how to say bank? 银行银行 Say where is the bank? Now ask where the bank is and answer, saying the bank is over there. Now imagine you're looking for the bathroom. Do you remember how to say bathroom? Say, where is the bathroom? Now ask where the bathroom is, and answer saying the bathroom is over there. Now imagine you're looking for the mall. Do you remember how to say mall? 商场，商场。Say where is the mall? 商场在哪儿 ？Now ask where the mall is and answer saying the mall is over there. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to ask the location of a place. You're now able to ask for directions like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Ask your fellow learners directions to a place. Lastly. Don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. 
Welcome to Chinese Top Words. My name is Ray. Today we are going to cover top ten ways to prepare your travel. 选择目的地 to choose your destination. 选择目的地 to choose your destination. 我早就选择好了我的目的地 I had my destination chosen a long time ago. I think comparing to scheduling your trip, choosing your destination is much easier. For now, I really want to go to Taiwan. It's a place I have been wanting to go for a long time, and since now I'm in Japan, it's affordable and it's easy, and I, I know the local language. So, yeah, this is a destination for my next trip. 买旅行指南 to buy a guidebook. 买旅行指南 to buy a guidebook. 你在哪里买的旅行指南 Where did you get your travel guide? For my traveling experience, I never buy a guidebook, especially for now. It's so easy to use Google and、uh, TripAdvisor. Hmm, maybe guidebook works for you. 存钱 to save money. 存钱 to save money. 我要从今天开始存钱 I need to start saving money from today. For me, saving money is always from tomorrow. It's like my friend's diet plan. I will start diet from tomorrow. For me, I will start saving money from tomorrow. 订机票 to book a flight. 订机票 to book a flight. 在星期二订机票会比较便宜 It will be cheaper to book your flight on a Tuesday. 请假 To request vacation time, 请假 to request vacation time. 我想在十二月请假两周 I would like to ask for a two-week leave in December. 预订住宿 to book accommodations. 预订住宿 to book accommodations. 你的任务是预订住宿 You are assigned to reserve accommodations. 查看当地天气 ，to check local weather。查看当地天气 ，to check local weather。走之前记得查看当地的天气。Remember to check the local weather before you take off。购买旅行保险 ，to buy travel insurance。购买旅行保险 ，to buy travel insurance。旅行社常常会推荐你购买旅行保险。Travel agencies often recommend you buy travel insurance. 打包行李 to pack your luggage. 打包行李 to pack your luggage. 每次打包行李的时候，我都很兴奋。Every time I pack my luggage, I feel very excited. I only feel excited at the moment of buying the plane ticket. But packing my luggage is not such a fun thing to do for me. Like I always feel too many things to feel in my luggage. 办签证 to get a visa. 办签证 to get a visa. 办签证不是件容易的事 Getting a visa is not so easy. I'm trying to get a visa from America next week. Wish me luck. Thank you for watching today's Chinese top words. Let us know how you're gonna prepare your travel, and where is your next destination. Don't forget to subscribe to ChineseClass11.com. I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Ian Ruli. 
In this lesson, we'll talk about how to give simple directions in Chinese. First, you hear a dialogue. A student is asking for the directions to get to the library. I'm going to read the dialogue, and while you're listening, I want you to focus on the response on how the directions are given. Ready? 图书馆在哪里? 往前走, 然后在路口右转, 图书馆就在你的左边. Okay, one more time, a bit slower. 图书馆在哪里? 往前走, 然后在路口右转, 图书馆就在你的左边. All right, did you get what the directions were? Can you find the library? If not, don't worry, we'll go over the dialogue one by one, line by line. Okay, first is our question. 图书馆在哪里? This is asking, where is the library? Okay, 图书馆在哪里? Where is the library? Okay, so this is a standard way to asking to ask where some place is at. Okay, first is the place you're looking for, and then 在哪里, at where. 图书馆在哪里? And then let's look at the response. Okay, uh, the response has three sentences. Okay, first sentence, 往前走. 往前走 means I'm go forward, go straight. 往前走然后在路口右转 Literally it is And then at intersection right turn 然后在路口右转 In English, in the English order it would be And then turn right at the intersection 然后在路口右转 Okay, and the last part 图书馆就在你的左边 图书馆, library 就在, means right at or just at or on 你的左边, in this case it will be on it will be right on your left side which sounds a little confusing, let's say the library will be just on your left side right there on your left side, you won't miss it 图书馆就在你的 左边. Okay, now let's see, let's suppose um, we're just walking on campus trying to find the library. So let's see if we can find it by following the directions. Okay, so you are here, you are this person number one, matchstick man number one, and you're here. And you want to find the library. Now let's follow the directions, see if we can get there. Okay, first step, 往前走. So you're here. 往前走, so it's in this direction. 往前前前前前, by the way, in China we walk or drive on the right side of the road. So we're following the traffic rule and we're going forward. 往前走, okay. Then we get to the intersection, 路口. 然后在路口,右转, so you need to turn right. 右,右,右,右,右,右. Okay, and the third step is 图书馆就在你的左边 At that time, the library will be on your left side So it looks like location number one should be the library You got it, <laughs> you found the library, 图书馆 Okay, so the directions one more time 往前走, 然后在路口右转 图书馆就在你的左边 Okay, so this is how we, um, we sort of follow the, the directions uh, on, from this dialogue. Next, let's try to give directions. So let's say uh, there is a matchstick man number two. He's asking for your help. And this person wants to get to Chao Shi. Okay, Chao Shi means supermarket. So on this map, Chao Shi is on location number two. 
and our little guy number two is here. So how does he get to Chao Shi? Let's walk him together. Okay. First step, he needs to go right. Wang Yo Zhou. Okay, Yo 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 Zhou. And Rang Ho Zai Lu Ko at the intersection. So if you're if he's going this way, okay, at the intersection to go there, he needs to turn right. So Rang Ho Zai Lu Ko Yo Juan Chao Shi Jiu Zai Ni Da Zuo Vian. Okay, so all together, Wang Yo Zou, Rang Ho Zai Lu Ko. 右转超市就在你的左边 That's how you get to 超市 okay? Let's try one more We have a matchstick man number three And this guy wants to go to a bank Bank is 银行, 银行. And on this map 银行 is location number three so he is here and he wants to go here. So how do we give him the, the interactions to get there? First step, Wang he needs to go left. Okay, And he will also get to the intersection, Lu Kao. he needs to turn right. 然后在路口右转右右右右右，and 银行就在你的左边。Okay, so all together, 往左走, go left. 然后在路口右转, and then turn right at the intersection. 银行就在你的左边。The bank is just on your left side. So with the other three examples we have so far, we can come up with a pattern, okay? That will give you many more directions, okay? We can also use three parts. First part is Wang, direction, zhou, okay? Wang, Wang means toward, okay? Wang, and zhou, in this case means go, zhou. So, and for the direction placeholder, we have, so far we have 前, 往前走, 前, 前 means front or ahead. So, 往前走 means go forward, go to the, that direction, 往前, okay? And we can also say 往左走 means go toward left, or 往右走, go toward the right, okay? This is our first part. Our second part is 然后在路口, right or left 转 <laughs> Okay, 然后, first word 然后 然后 is a conjunction word meaning and then This is very useful, you'll hear it a lot either in everyday conversations or uh, formal language 然后, and then Next word is 在, 在 In this case means at as in 在路口, at the intersection. 在, okay, we know Lu Ko is intersection. And this word, last word, 转. 转 is a verb meaning turn. 转. So you can say, 然后在路口右转, or 然后在路口左转, either turn right at the intersection or turn left at the intersection. Okay, the third part. Place the place you're looking for. So in our lesson, in our lesson, we've covered, uh, we've talked about 图书馆, library, 图书馆, 图书馆, and 超市, supermarket, 超市, 超市, and 银行, bank, 银行, 银行. Okay, so we can use, we'll put these places first, the place you're looking for, and then 就, 就 is an adverb that's um, putting emphasis on what you're saying. So it can be loosely translated to 
just or exactly, precisely. Okay, and 就在 will be right at or right on in this case. 你的 means your. 你的 边 means side. 边 so 你的 右边 your right side or 你的 左边 your left side. So if I say 就在你的左边 or 就在你的右边, it's putting more emphasis, like you won't miss it, it's right there. Place 就在你的右边 or place 就在你的左边. All right, now let's try to use this pattern on um, given directions to another place. Let's say you're looking for or you're given directions to a coffee shop. Cafe店. Okay, cafe店, how do you get to the coffee shop? First, you go left. And then, at the intersection, you will turn right. Coffee shop, cafe din, is just on your right side. So how do you say that? Wang zuo Cafe din, There you have it. Now let's review. Do you remember how to say front? Qian And how to say go? Zo Zo Do you remember how to say go forward? Wang Wang Do you remember how to say turn? Juan Juan And how to say turn right? Yo Juan Yo Juan do you remember how to say intersection? Lu Lu And how to say at the intersection? Zai Lu Zai Lu Do you remember how to say and then? Ran ho. And do you remember how to say and then turn right at the intersection? Ran ho zai lu ko yo juan. Ran ho zai lu ko yo juan. Do you remember how to say side? Bian Bian And how to say left side Zuo Bian Zuo Bian And how to say your left side Ni the Zuo Bian Ni the do you remember how to say on your left side? Zai ni da zuo bian. Zai ni da zuo bian. Do you remember how to say just? Jiu. And how to say library? Tushu Guan. 
Do you remember how to say the library is just on your left side? And lastly, do you remember how to say go forward and then turn right at the intersection? The library is just on your left side. Well done! In this lesson, you've learned how to give simple directions in Chinese. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. I'm Yinru, and I'll see you again on ChineseClass101.com. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Chinese ebook before it's gone.